Hello, uh, my name is Thijs, welcome to Gourmet Grind and today what I'm going to be doing is going to just be walking you through a couple of fancy cocktails that are very easy to make um, but will look very fancy and impressive. Now, um, the ones that we're going to be looking at today are a couple of more creamy, perfect cocktails for after dinner. Um, the first one that we're going to be starting off with is the espresso martini. Then we'll move on to um, a cinnamon white Russian and we're going to be closing off with the spiced amaretto sour. All right guys, so what do we need today? Um, you're going to need a cocktail shaker. Um, doesn't matter which one, you can have the two cups together or the one like I have. Um, we're going to need a measurer and then preferably a strainer and I'll explain later why this comes in handy especially with the espresso martini. Um, as well with the, the spiced amaretto sour we're going to make later. Then I'm going to be using this as well, uh, just to filter out the rest of it, uh, a little sieve. You don't, if you don't have this, um, don't worry, the strainer will do just enough. Um, and if you have the, uh, the double Manhattan shaker glasses, you can just use them to put them on top of each other and pour it out that way. Then we're also going to need some ice, of course. And Let's get into it. Let's start with the first one, um, espresso martini. Now, we'll start with the coffee, as I said, the most important part. What you're gonna wanna do, um, so you've got your cocktail shaker, just grab your ice. Just fill this up. So, we'll start with our vodka. So what we're gonna need is, um, with your measure, you have two sides, right, so you get the the 50 milliliters and the 25. We're gonna use the 25 just for the clue and the babies. We'll start with the vodka, big one. So 50 milliliters of vodka, just in there. We move on to the Kahlua. So this is our coffee liqueur. There's already coffee in there, but just to give that extra bit. For the coffee liqueur, um, we're gonna use a small one. So 25 milliliters of that. Just pour that in. As I said, we're gonna to top it off with the babies just there. For the babies as well, we're just gonna use the 25. Don't wanna overdo it on that. Um, 25 milliliters would just be enough. In the meantime, we've uh, we finished our espresso. I like to use a double espresso. You can use a single shot, that's most commonly used. I'm a huge coffee fan, so I like both. What we do, just throw that in there with all the ingredients. And then it's time to shake. So when you're shaking, most importantly, what you just want, you want to feel the ice shaker get ice cold. Once it's ice cold, that's fine. You have the ice in there, it dilutes it down a little bit. Now, for the presentation of this one, um, if you have a martini glass, that's great. I prefer to serve them in the, the coupe glass, just like this, a little bit fancier, a little bit classier, just like that. Um, this is where, the strainer that I talked about comes in handy. Um, so if you look into this cocktail shaker here, um, you can see there's a lot of foam. It's kind of coming off the coffee and just mixing everything together with the ice. You don't want to have that in your drink. So what you'll do is just put this on top of it. As I said, I'm going to use the, the extra strainer here, but, and then we're just going to pour it right in very calmly. Fill that up. Right there. You get a little bit of the foam on top because we do want to have that, you know, create that nice look. Your espresso martini. That's us done there. No drink is complete without a bit of garnish. So what we do, we have our coffee beans. Any coffee beans will do. Doesn't matter here. Important though is that you take three. Don't take four. Don't want to have an even number. You take three and you just drop them on there. Let's be done. Cheers. All right, guys, let's move on to our second drink. Um, a twist on the dude's favorite drink for the guys that, that know that reference. Um, we're gonna have a little twist on the white Russian. So the classic, the classic white Russian with the twist. So what we're gonna be doing, um, just seeing it's in the winter months, and we are gonna use a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of spice, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use maple syrup and a bit of cinnamon, and we have our cinnamon sticks there for later as well. 
Um, so first, what do we need for this one? White Russian, very, very simple. You'll see in a minute that it's gonna look very cool. It's simple, but it's the, the, the effect that it'll give is very cool, right? So we're gonna use our vodka and our Kahlua, just like we did in the previous drink. And then we're gonna to top it off with a bit of milk. I'll get back to the milk later, um, but let's get it started. So, opposed to the other ones, um, we're not gonna prepare this one in a cocktail shaker, right? And it'll, it's gonna make sense in a little bit, right? Right, so guys, as we're doing uh, the little twist, right, on this, so normally we're just gonna pour it straight with, we're gonna start straight with the liquor. We're not gonna do that right now, just because we're, we're throwing a little wintry twist on this, right? So what we're gonna be using first is the maple syrup. If you can find cinnamon syrup, by all means use that. I think it would be better. It's pretty hard to find in all fairness, so we're just gonna use maple syrup today. Um, and what we're gonna do for just, as you can see, it's a, it's a fresh bottle here. Now, with your tumbler glass, um, just make sure that you cover the base, basically. just like that, so that the base is covered, as you can see. Um, and give it a little bit more if you want, but not too much because we don't want to make that taste kind of take over. You know what I mean? Um, so when we've done that, you've covered your base with your maple syrup. Now we're going to take the ice and just grab some ice cubes, just fill up your glass. Now make sure it's filled up just up to the top right there. Um, right there. Now what we're going to do is we're going to start with the vodka. Um, we're going to use equal measures of vodka and Kahlua. So we're going to use, again with the measure, we're going to use the 50 milliliters. Right, so we're just going to pour that one. And What's important, what's going to be important with this drink, um, and not as much with the vodka when we're starting, right? But what's going to be important for the next one is we're going to need a very, very slow pour, and you want to hold it as close to the ice as possible because with this drink, because we're not making it in a cocktail shaker, we're just making it in the glass, you're going to create a really, really cool effect where you want to create that kind of layering in the glass, um, which is going to make it really, really cool. Therefore, when we go to the Kahlua, our second one. Again, 50 milliliters, right? So we're gonna take that, just pour that in. You could do it slowly just because you don't wanna have an overflow. Now, what we're gonna do is here, as you see, so we gotta hold that as closely to the ice as possible and slowly pour that in. And what you'll start seeing is a little bit of that layering effect that's gonna come through. Now, the classic one. The classic kind of right Russian is made with fresh cream. I like to just, as I said before, it's quite a heavy cocktail. As you see, like the glass is almost full just there. We just have alcohol in it right now and a bit of syrup. Uh, with the cream, it makes it a little bit heavy. So what I like to do is just use milk, fresh milk. Uh, it makes it a little bit fresher. The most fascinating part about this cocktail, right? So what we do, just grab your milk. Now, what you're gonna do um, we don't need the measure, so we're just going to use the milk basically just to top off the drink, right? Um, have your milk and then just lift up the glass a little bit and try and pour it over the ice so that the effect that you're going to create is just going to kind of drool down into the drink rather than just pouring it straight on top. Now, you're going to see what I mean. That's what you want. You can impress your, anyone you're making this drink for, you can impress yourself. I can kind of impress myself every now and then. As we're putting a little twist on this one, um, so we have our maple syrup or cinnamon syrup, if you do have it, down the bottom. What we want to do is just take one of our cinnamon sticks, just kind of pop it in there, you know, for a bit of garnish. And then to top this off, just the cinnamon powder. Don't use too much of this. It might be a little bit heavy, but just kind of for the look of it, right? So, if you haven't used it as much as I have, there you go. Just one dash over the top of it. And there you go. That's your twist on the dude. His favorite drink, the cinnamon wine brush. Cheers.
Alright guys, now let's move on to our third cocktail there, the Spiced Amaretto Sour. So again, a little twist on the classic one, the Am Amaretto Sour. We're gonna throw a few spices in there and kind of just work away with it, just uh, you know, put away from us. Now, the special thing about this cocktail is that although we've had, we've got our ice right here, we're only gonna touch this in a little bit. Um, and I'm gonna explain to you why. So, any like, sour cocktail that you make, so if you're drinking a whiskey sour, a maratto sour, we use egg white. And when you're using egg white, you don't want to shake with ice. And the reason for this is that when you shake with the ice, it's going to dilute the drink a little bit, right? Um, and also the, the egg white that you're putting in your shaker, you want that to really form that like frothy little heads, um, as you might have seen from your whiskey sours when you have that little edge on your drink there, right? So that's why we're doing a dry shake. I'm going to show you how it works in a minute. So what we're going to start with, we have our cocktail shaker. We're not going to put any ice in it just yet. So what we're doing, we're just going to take our first drink. And the only shaker in this drink, it's the only thing you'll need, is the Visserona. We're just going to take 50 milliliters of the Visserona, pour that in. Just like that. That's it. Then the next thing that we're going to use, as you see here, the ingredients, the cherries we'll, we'll use later just for the garnish, right? The Angostura bitters, I'll get back to that. We're going to need our lemon. So what we're going to use is the juice of this entire lemon. So basically, just going to cut this up. Just with, If you don't have fresh lemon, you can use, use the lemon juice. I prefer the fresh juice, just kind of squeeze it in there. Just like that, and get the other half there. And just like that. Right, so this is obviously the, the sour part of the cocktail. Um, amaretto, sour. Now, the next thing we'll need is the egg white. Now, I'm not an expert at this, so if it goes wrong, don't judge me. Basically, what I try to do is like crack the egg, and then with my thumb here, it's a bit of a, a tedious little job, but with my thumb here, I'm trying to keep the, the yolk in there and just kind of like make sure all of the white drops into the shaker. Right, we got that in here. Now, for a little twist on it as we've been doing, we've got some chai spices right here. So what we're going to do is just pour a little bit of that in there. Just enough to give it the extra little spice. Now, as I was saying before, we're gonna do a dry shake first, right? So as you see, there's no ice in here. And you're gonna see the result of that in just a minute. Now, it's a little bit different from when you're shaking with the ice, you realize that the shaker is getting cold at some point. Obviously, you're not gonna realize that now because it's just half warm liquids in there. But basically, do it for about 10 seconds, right? So when you've done that for about 10 seconds, and you're gonna shake it, roughly as well to really get the egg whites going now, right? So now what you're gonna see now, if we open this, and you can already see it a little bit just there on the head, right? But that's it. So you can really see right here that the egg white have, it's, it's created that frothy little head, and that's what you want in your kind of amaretto sour, whiskey sour even if you're making it. Now, on top of that, we still want our drink to be cooked. So what we're going to be doing, now we're going to grab our ice, throw it in the shaker, just that, nothing else added. It's going to close it again. We're going to give it another shake. Now you can use the previous tactic, when it goes cold. There you go. It's cold just like that. Now, any sour drink, best served over ice. So again, I'm just gonna add ice to the glass. To make sure we have that. And then what we're gonna do is the strainer that we used before. Just again, um, the tricky part here is we're gonna do that for just the first couple of seconds, right? Because do you remember we created the little frothy head with the egg white? So we'll do the first part like that. Finished up like that, but then for the last little bit, 
what I like to do is just kind of throw a bit of the ice in there as well so you get that proper froth coming up right there. Then Angostura bitters. If you don't have this at home, don't worry, it's not that necessary of an addition, but it gives a little bit of extra spice to it. So what I like to do is when I finish this, just add two sprinkles just over the top of it. And then for garnish to top that up, we're gonna use just one cherry right there. And that is you done for a spice that we're at this hour. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. We have the espresso martini, the cinnamon white Russian, and we have the spiced amaretto sour. Now, if you've enjoyed this, but it's gone a little bit too quick, the recipe for these drinks are gonna be up on the blog. Uh, the link is gonna be in the description of the video below, so just check that out as well. And that's it for me. I'm gonna sign off here. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe.